All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty is a continuation of the iDig series. Uh, today I wanted to go over, and by the way, I'm gonna pre-apologize for the forward-facing camera quality. Uh, my other GoPro died, and I don't have another battery, so you get what you get. But today we're gonna talk about the most powerful feature on the iDig uh, that I just learned how to use uh, now that Kevin's here on site to show me, and that is the laser lock. So we are going to, with this tool, we're gonna to be able to carry our bench bark from this little pole right in front of me, and we're going to be able to carry that bench mark all the way to our basement, back over across the site. As long as our laser, which in this example, we haven't moved the laser to where it's gonna be visible around the site, but as long as your laser is visible into the hole, you now have a constant benchmark that you can carry across the site. Let me show you how to do that. So I have a line, and you're probably not gonna be able to see it because of the quality of my camera here, but my, my height of my tooth on the left-hand side of my bucket is exactly level with the top of wall mark on our stake. From top of wall to the bottom of the hole is nine foot five inches. We'll come back to that number. So what we're gonna do, we need to tell this, first of all, I've talked about this in another video, you can see I have my left bucket tooth selected, which is good because that's what I have marking as a benchmark. So I have my left bucket tooth uh, selected, so I'm gonna go into my laser, and this is where it says, if we know the height from this point to our laser, we can plug that in by using this button here. I don't know about you guys, I don't ever know that number. So instead what I wanna do is I wanna tell it I know the elevation, which we know the elevation. So where my tooth is right now, basically the wording is if you know the reference height, put your bucket tooth on the reference point to dial it in. So that's what we're doing. We've got our tooth where it needs to be. I'm gonna hit this number here. Now remember, this is our zero point for top of wall which means that point is nine foot five inches above what we want our grade to be. So I'm gonna put in nine feet five inches and hit enter. And now what it says is, all right, bud, show me where the laser is. So that's what we're gonna do is we're now going to get my, my sensor. Let me run out here and show you where that sensor is. Right here is our sensor. So we are going to get that sensor in line with the laser so the laser, it can pick up the laser and it now has a zero point. So we're going to curl my bucket in and we're just gonna slowly come down and you're gonna watch this bar turn green with a red mark in it when we get into laser range. There it is. Now we sit it still, oh, so we went a little too low. Now we're gonna sit it still, let it zero. And now you can see it's already calculating that where my teeth are, because remember this system always measures to the tip of the teeth, we are 12 feet nine and five eighths inches above our grade. So now what we can do is let's say we were gonna dig our basement back over here. This is where it's powerful. All right, so we've moved all over and there's no possible way, well, there is because I haven't moved that far, but let's say I can't reach my reference point, which traditionally up until this point, we've been working off of touch, touch benchmarks. But let's say I can't touch a benchmark now. What I can do is I can go back here to my laser catch and it's gonna say, hey, show me where the laser is. So we're gonna go down this is, there's our laser. So we gotta go back up. There's our laser. Boom. The machine has done all of the math. And now in this point, I am an eight foot three inch cut down to grade, according to that benchmark mark back over there. So I am eight foot to get down to our cut that we took off of that benchmark. I can track wherever I need to, and as long as I can get, if I can catch that laser, we're okay. And so let's say the basement dig is actually behind me. It doesn't matter, as long as my tracks don't move, I can swing back over here, and the machine has used that laser to zero out, and I can do all of my digging. And let's say 
we continue our dig all of our dig is out in front of us doesn't matter all i have to do is i have to swing around say hey i need to catch my laser let's go down and catch our laser we're zeroed out now i can spin back around in my hole and i can keep digging and i'm exactly on grade this is an unbelievably powerful tool to have in your machine for under fifteen thousand dollars with total portability i can pop this screen literally pops out this thing pops right off of its mount i can take my three sensors with me i i take that back four sensors because there's one in the floor i can take all this equipment with me i can install it on my next machine assuming i have the bracketry it will take me 15 minutes to throw it on my new machine. I already have my parameters in my screen. I select which machine and which bucket I'm digging with. Boom, I'm live. What an incredibly powerful tool. So that's how you use the laser catch. If I wanna go back to regular touch benchmarking, all I do is I hit this little exit laser. It says, hey, are you sure you wanna delete the laser catch? We say, yep. Okay, now we're back to regular touch benchmarks. So I hope this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I will certainly call Kevin and we will get an answer for you. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.